hey, it's Kazoom, it's Noisy Room Edition, and uh, I'm just gonna be whining about the loss of a product. Um, this product, this is a Mentadent a toothpaste. It's something where they would come out of two distinct uh, uh, areas that are inside of here. Um, it contain it's within the formula contains hydrogen peroxide and baking soda, and those are very good uh, for for taking care of of uh, gum issues, and it's good for cleaning. And so, but about three years ago, they stopped carrying the regular version of this, and all you could get anymore were the the whitening versions of this product. I've never been a fan of whitening products for teeth. I've never been a fan of it, I think. You're, you're hurting your teeth. You know, that's, that's my view of it. Um, if they're not perfectly white, oh well, right? Um, I'm sure my teeth could be whiter <laughs> than they are if I wanted to really use a bunch of, oh, let's use those whitening strips. No, that's all right. Anyway, um, about three years ago, I started having a lot more problems with my tongue, and I just went to the dentist earlier today. Well, it's a dental hygienist over at Pierce College, because that's all I can really afford, because um, I need to get uh, a scaling done on all four quadrants of my mouth. And this is where they will kind of scrape behind the gums. They have to numb your gums and they do a bunch of scraping and it's very unpleasant, but it needs to be done. The last time I had it done was 10 years ago. And uh, they said to me, oh, you've got geographic tongue. I'm like, oh, that's what it's called. I had wondered. Now right now, you, it's not as bad as it sometimes is, but maybe you can see it, maybe not. You see how the edges of the tongue are, uh, the, the, the taste buds have just sort of come off of the edges and some other spots, and it's all, like, broken up, all funny, and uh, sometimes it's very painful when I'm eating, especially spicy foods, uh, acidic foods, a number of other types of foods, it's actually painful in my mouth uh, because of this condition. And I found out that whitening toothpaste is one of the major causes of it. I mean, one of the major things that makes it bad. It's not necessarily the cause. The cause is something, uh, maybe it's hereditary. I still need to look more into exactly what the causes are, but it's not something that's, it's not contagious or anything like that. Um, but one of the things that can make it worse, one of the major things that make it worse, are whitening toothpastes. And that's around the time I started having those problems, major problems with my tongue, was the time that I switched over to the whitening version of this, because they dropped the regular version. So I was going to, uh, I was going to write Arm & Hammer and say, hey, you know, uh, have you thought about releasing the regular version of this again? And then I find out they're dropping the pro they're they're dropping this product altogether now. So it's like, all right, well, <laughs> I guess I'll go back to what I've done when I don't want my mouth tasting like mint, so I can actually eat something uh, sooner than an hour after I brush my teeth, which would be I would literally put on the toothbrush. I'd put hydrogen peroxide, salt, and baking soda. And I'd brush my teeth with that. And yes, it tastes awful, but the flavor goes away very quickly. And again, you can eat like, you know, 15 minutes later and it doesn't affect the, the taste of your food. So, and I guess that's what I'm going to do from now on because there aren't, I can't find any products that they separate the two, uh, the two major ingredients to be put together, you know, uh, at the time you want to use them. And, uh, uh, what, what do you call that? It's, uh, what is the name of the thing when you, when you, like, when you com uh, when you want to combine a, a water-based something with something oil-based, and there's a way that you can make it, 
it's an emulsifier. No, is that the right term? I thought that was the right term. Anyway, um, the things that are used to be able to have baking soda and peroxide together make it a less effective product. So I would rather just brush with those raw ingredients and uh, just call it good. So, don't know why I felt the need to make a video about it. I was just a bit frustrated because um, I, you know, now knowing that this is one of the things that's made my problem worse, and yet it's one of the things that I mean, without this, without this, I probably wouldn't have teeth anymore. They probably would have fallen out due to gum issues. Um, uh, or I should say, without learning about what's in this and how good that those ingredients work on taking care of gum issues. So, if you're someone that w that used this product, um, know that they've discontinued it. They just, um, they've just discontinued it over like the past month or so. It was already very hard to find in stores, but now you're just not going to find it because it's done. So, anyway, ah, uh, burp. Really pathetic burp. It's a wimpy uh, burp.